Namaskar. Welcome to Conversations with Rakesh. This is my favorite month of the year because it kind of symbolically closes a full year and you prepare for the next year. So in all my classes and I work a lot with senior managers, professionals, entrepreneurs, uh, CXOs, what have you, academicians. And I asked in all my classes that, hey, I want you all to reflect on what are the top five things you learned this year? And we had a great discussion because it gives you a time to reflect and enjoy what you have done and look back because it helps you plan the next year better. So one student asked, sir, what are your five things that you have learned this year? Which is the point I'd like to share with all of you that I found this exercise so liberating and so useful because when I looked back at my last 12 months, I'm now so much clearer of what I will do and what I will not do in 2023. So here are my five leadership lessons that I learned through my own venture school of meaningful experiences this year. I also did one more thing. I also asked my teams that, hey, in my last 12 months, what do you think are the worst things I've done and the best things I've done? And I heard their points and I'm going to weave them in my top five answers. Ready? The first thing that I really learned this year as I reflect back is that I need to stop taking all the decisions by myself. As a CEO of an organization uh, which is now growing, it is really bad on my leadership and my managerial qualities to decide and then tell others what to do. It's a criminal waste of their resources, their abilities and breaks the whole culture. And I realized that I was doing it a lot because the organization was growing. And in my way of working, I would just keep doing what I was doing. But very soon I realized this year that I think things were going wrong. And one of the root causes was that I was telling them what to do and not listening to them. In fact, the best ideas of this year came from my team. Unfortunately, I did not listen to them. I teach about listening, but I did not apply these skills in my own style. And I thought that this is my way and the best way. And I was proved wrong. My team had clearly told me that you will waste time and effort just by doing this. And I would say, no, 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 you don't know. And I will do it. And I think I learned a very big lesson this year. And I'm very happy to now see my team decide everything on their own. They now decide the course and my job is to help them make it happen. So my first thing that I think I learned this year uh, is never take decisions alone. Uh, involve your team. In fact, delegate as much as possible. They are smart people. They are there and utilize their skills and they will do a much better job than you do. And it will liberate you from so many things and you'll focus your time someplace else. So that was a big reflection I learned this year that stop taking decisions and pushing it down. In fact, that's the worst form of leadership that you could do. Second, um, this is something which is uh, again part of the first point that when I realized that I was making too many mistakes, uh, there was this one meeting I remember where I literally apologized for every wrong decision that I've taken and uh, I didn't do it for anything else. I just did it because I wanted to take it off my shoulders and honestly, I felt so better after that. I honestly had to go through that, you know, taking the bitter pill and my ego was hurt and you know, who wants to stand up and apologize to uh, a group of people? Uh, none of us like to do that. But my team was very graceful. They listened to me. They, in fact, even gave me some new points, which I thought I never thought through. But that process of listing down all the bad decisions and mistakes I did and caused everyone a lot of inconvenience and apologizing for it liberated me. And I felt so much lighter. My team was so much calm, calmer and our relations became so nice after that. And I, I, I think that's a great reflection that why don't I say sorry more often? I mean, what, what, what's the worst thing that can happen? And it not only relaxes me, it makes my relationship with my team so much more better. Plus, the team has now started to uh, say sorry a lot more openly 
and we have a simple policy that okay make mistakes but don't make the same mistake again and again that is not good but this whole culture of trying something and saying sorry has become a great reflection for me as an organization culture that i learned the power of it only this year and i think i'll do it more as we go along in 2023 so that's my second lesson that say sorry and acknowledge failure as it liberates you and everyone here's my third lesson that i learned this year this year you know everything has gone wrong we came out of a pandemic and went straight into the mouth of a recession uh training budgets have been cut worldwide it impacts me and my team internet marketing strategies have completely changed thanks to all the all the nonsensical stuff happening out there in the world which impacts us so every course correction that we did was just going nowhere and one of the things i think we learned is that when things don't go the way you want to go you must make a quick decision that hey things are not moving and let's not just bleed if we go on that direction let's course correct maybe take a slight turn maybe let's adjust ourselves nothing is perfect and that has been one of the best reflections that i could think of doing that allow yourself the chance to course correct yourself you will make mistakes everybody will your team will make mistakes you will make mistakes but the ability to just figure out that we are going wrong and look at the environment and use tools to fine tune your pathways and allow yourself this change and you know don't say ki bas ek bar hum chal nikle to bas gaadi wahi jayegi ye sab wo hindi picture mein acha lagta hai but in entrepreneurial business the way the world is moving and everything is changing by the second i think you should change too and uh, ye patthar ki lakeer wala jo thought process hai is not a good idea so please allow yourself the power to course correct rethink cut your losses and find a better trajectory for yourself because it will help you and your organization and that's a great leadership lesson that i learned here's my number 4 this came as a feedback from my team and i never thought that this will be such a big deal but i think it's a very big deal um one of my team members upset that sir i appreciated how despite going through a pretty bad personal crisis in september you were so calm about it and i never had thought about it in september i went through a, a very unfortunate uh, crisis uh, thankfully things are better now but in that one month my family went through a lot but when i would come to work and in my meetings um, i would never show it in fact uh, many of my learners and my partners and my colleagues didn't even know what was happening and this one colleague called up and said that why didn't you tell me and i said i didn't want to you know create a necessary discussion around something which is not in your control and i wanted to just make sure that you get as a as a colleague of mine i don't want to bother you and the feedback i got was that sir that's such a great thing that you don't bring your problems into work and that calm attitude gives us the strength and that's when it struck me that what i think i learned was my behavior is so critical as a leader in my organization and i have to be very very mindful of what i'm doing to my team if i bring my problems in my team meeting my team members are going to be impacted and this is something you should think through very clearly that when you go home if you're taking your office problems your family life will be impacted and if you bring your family problems to work that work will be impacted so please learn to uh, reflect on this and i learned that i need to be a lot more mindful and careful about my behavior on others because now i have a team looking at me and my calm attitude and this attitude of being neutral and there was this very nice uh, kavita when i was a child tin ke bartan ka swabhav ki jab garam ho jata hai to tin ka bartan bhi garam ho jata hai aur jab thanda hota hai to tin ka bartan bhi thanda hota hai that's not a good idea i think you should be a lot more cooler and calmer throughout regardless of what's happening around you so wo, the key message is that don't let external factors impact your behavior be who you are be a little bit more careful you're a leader and your actions and behavior will impact everybody else and i thought that was a great reflection and something that i learned was very critical and i'll strengthen it as we go on in 2023 that i'll be a lot more 
behaved calmer controlled in front of people because it might impact them negatively maybe positively also but at some point of time i can't let the external environment drive who i am i have to be a lot more stronger from within so that's my reflection number 4 and the last one this is the fifth one um this year we also realized that many of us were going in different directions as a team and this again came as a feedback uh, where some of my team members felt good that i allowed them to do what they want to do i never criticized them uh, i gave them my views on their ideas they did what they had to and they realized that it was a wrong direction and they course corrected and literally outshone everybody's expectations and the thing i learned in hindsight as a reflection is allow your your team to have a space to do what they want to do let them try let them fail let them realize a better path themselves and then shine i think that's a, such an aha moment for me as a manager as a leader that i don't have to worry about course correcting others i have to just give them a space to be creative and give them the resources and they'll figure out everything and they'll be a lot more uh empowered to do their work and when they make mistakes they quickly course correct and things work better as compared to me micromanaging and course correcting them and this has now become the culture of my organization that my role is to uh, give them the resources they will figure out everything decide course correct and if things work we are all happy if things don't work we'll try harder so let me summarize the five things that i have learned this year as my reflection my leadership principles for 2022 when i reflected on them first i have stopped taking all decisions on my own number 2 i have started to say sorry more often and acknowledge my failures publicly it has liberated me lightened me number 3 i have started to look at things a lot more carefully and if they're not working i allow myself the chance to course correct and uh, tell everybody about it and communicate about it and that's where they also realize that we have to course correct and that has become a great reflection that i need to communicate and course correct and communicate and course correct all the time because that's how everybody will then fall in number 4 i need to be a lot more calmer regardless of what's happening outside there are recessions there are failures there are salary losses there are uh, quarterly objectives and revenue not happening there are crisis at home my health may go bad but i need to find a way to be calm about it otherwise my team will understand my learners will understand it may impact them it may impact the whole organization and the last one um i have decided that i will create a more stronger environment for my team to be creative uh, do what they want make their own failures course correct themselves and then outshine themselves and i think these five have now given me so much of clarity for what i will do in 2023 and what i will not do in 2023 so on that note do this simple exercise reflect on what you have learned ask people around you what they think about you let it be there in your mind you don't have to change anything you just have to listen and understand it might help you turn the corner for closing 2022 better and give you a chance to start 2023 a lot better stay safe